，战斗变成起飞。A startling statistic regarding China's advancements in vertical takeoff and landing (VTOL) aircraft is the rapid growth of its VTOL fleet. As of 2022, China has the world's largest VTOL fleet, with an estimated 350 operational VTOL aircraft. This number is particularly significant when compared to other countries' VTOL capabilities. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support, let's continue. China's unexpected advancements in the VTOL aircraft market and how this development is sending shockwaves through the United States military and aerospace industries. Discover the technology behind these innovative aircraft and learn how China's strategic moves are reshaping the global aviation landscape. We analyze the implications of this surge in Chinese capabilities on U.S. national security, defense contracts, and international relations. According to a report by Aviation Week, China's VTOL fleet size surpasses the combined total of the United States, Russia, and all NATO members. The United States, for instance, has around 120 operational VTOL aircraft, including the well-known V-22 Osprey and the older CH-46 Sea Knight. China's focus on VTOL technology is part of its broader military modernization efforts, aiming to enhance its capabilities for amphibious operations, special forces missions, and rapid deployment of troops and equipment. The rapid expansion of China's VTOL fleet has been facilitated by significant investments in indigenous aircraft development and the acquisition of foreign technology. The Z-8 and Z-18 transport helicopters, developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, form the backbone of China's VTOL fleet. These helicopters are used for various missions, including troop transport, search and rescue, and anti-submarine warfare. Additionally, China has been developing more advanced VTOL aircraft, such as the Z-10 attack helicopter and the Z-19 reconnaissance helicopter, which further enhance its military capabilities. The Z-10 is a dedicated attack helicopter designed for anti-tank and close air support missions, while the Z-19 is a lightweight reconnaissance helicopter with advanced sensors and stealth features. China's progress in VTOL technology is a significant development in military aviation, and this statistic highlights the country's commitment to strengthening its air and ground capabilities, potentially reshaping the regional military balance. The global VTOL aircraft market is experiencing a surge in competition, with China emerging as a significant player and making remarkable developments that have far-reaching implications for the aerospace industry worldwide. This growing competition is reshaping the landscape of advanced aerial mobility and military aviation. Here's an introduction to this evolving scenario. 1. China's VTOL Advancements China has been aggressively investing in VTOL technology, aiming to catch up with and surpass traditional aerospace leaders. The country's aerospace industry has made several notable achievements in recent years. Zhejiang Geely Holding Group Geely, a Chinese multinational automotive conglomerate, has ventured into the VTOL market. They have partnered with Volocopter, a German VTOL aircraft manufacturer, to develop and produce electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft for urban air mobility. Geely's financial backing and manufacturing expertise could accelerate the development and commercialization of these aircraft. AVIC, Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC has been at the forefront of China's indigenous VTOL aircraft development. They have designed and produced various VTOL helicopters, such as the Z-10 attack helicopter and the Z-19 reconnaissance helicopter, which are now integral to the Chinese military's capabilities. AVIC is also working on advanced tilt-rotor aircraft concepts. 2. Implications for Global Aerospace China's rapid progress in VTOL technology has several implications for the global aerospace industry. 
Market Competition The size and growth of China's VTOL fleet pose a direct challenge to established Western aerospace companies, intensifying competition in the global market. This competition could drive innovation and cost efficiency across the industry. Military Balance China's focus on VTOL aircraft significantly enhances its military capabilities, particularly in amphibious operations and rapid response missions. This development may influence regional security dynamics and prompt other nations to accelerate their own VTOL programs. Commercial VTOL Market China's involvement in the commercial EVTOL sector, as demonstrated by Geely's partnership with Volocopter, could lead to increased competition in the emerging urban air mobility market. This could result in more affordable and accessible air taxi services, potentially revolutionizing urban transportation. Technology Transfer and Export China's success in VTOL technology may lead to increased exports and technology transfers, especially to countries seeking cost-effective military aviation solutions. This could further expand China's influence in the global aerospace market. 3. Global Response and Collaboration The growing competition from China has not gone unnoticed by other aerospace powers. Many countries and companies are responding by accelerating their own VTOL programs and fostering international collaborations. United States The U.S. military continues to invest in VTOL technology, with programs like the V-280 Valor tiltrotor aircraft and the SB-1 Defiant, which are being developed as part of the future Vertical Lift FVL, program. Europe European aerospace giants like Airbus are working on VTOL projects, such as the City Airbus EVTOL for urban air mobility. International partnerships. Global collaborations, such as the joint development of the Bell V280 Valor by Bell Textron and Lockheed Martin in the US and the Leonardo A609 Tiltrotor by Leonardo Italy and Pratt and & Whitney Canada, demonstrate the importance of strategic alliances in this competitive market. The VTOL aircraft market is witnessing a new era of competition and innovation, with China's advancements serving as a catalyst for global aerospace players to step up their efforts. This dynamic environment promises exciting technological breakthroughs, but it also raises questions about the balance of power in the aerospace industry and the future of military and civilian aviation. As the competition intensifies, the world can expect to see more cutting-edge VTOL designs and applications, shaping the skies of the future. America, long considered a dominant force in the VTOL sector, is facing significant challenges in maintaining its leadership position as China accelerates its innovations and investments in this field. Several factors contribute to the complexities America encounters in this evolving landscape. 1. Technological Competition China has made remarkable strides in VTOL technology, rapidly closing the gap with the United States. Chinese companies and research institutions are developing advanced VTOL helicopters, tiltrotors, and electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft for both military and civilian applications. This progress is evident in the increasing number and sophistication of China's VTOL fleet. America relies heavily on legacy VTOL platforms like the iconic V-22 Osprey and CH-46 C Knight which have proven their worth but may not represent the latest technological advancements. On the other hand, China is investing in indigenous innovation, allowing for more flexibility and customization in VTOL designs. 2. Military Modernization and Budget Constraints China's military modernization efforts include a strong focus on VTOL capabilities, aiming to enhance its amphibious and rapid response operations. The Chinese military is rapidly acquiring advanced VTOL aircraft, which could potentially challenge the U.S. military's technological edge in this domain. The U.S. military faces budgetary constraints and competing priorities, which can impact the pace of VTOL program development and procurement. The Future Vertical Lift FVL, program, designed to replace aging helicopter fleets, has experienced delays and funding challenges, making it difficult to keep up with China's rapid VTOL advancements. 3. Emerging Market Dynamics The emerging market for commercial EVTOL aircraft, targeted at urban air mobility, presents a new competitive arena. 
China's involvement in this sector, as seen with Geely's investment in Volocopter, could lead to fierce competition in the global market. American companies need to innovate and adapt to this new market quickly to maintain their market share. China's cost-effective VTOL solutions may appeal to countries seeking to modernize their military aviation capabilities without the high costs associated with Western systems. This could lead to increased exports and market share for China, challenging America's traditional dominance in global VTOL sales. 4. Research and Development Challenges Sustaining long-term research and development efforts is crucial for maintaining technological superiority. The U.S. aerospace industry and government must invest significantly in cutting-edge VTOL technologies, such as advanced materials, hybrid propulsion systems, and autonomous flight capabilities, to stay ahead of the competition. Attracting and retaining top engineering talent is essential for innovation. America needs to foster a robust pipeline of skilled aerospace professionals to drive VTOL technology development and address the challenges posed by China's growing capabilities. 5. Strategic Alliances and Collaboration To counter the competition, the U.S. aerospace industry may need to explore strategic alliances and partnerships with international companies and governments. Collaborative efforts can lead to shared resources, expertise, and market access, helping to accelerate innovation and market presence. China is making significant technological advancements in the field of VTOL aircraft, with a focus on both military and civilian applications. These innovations are driving the country's rapid progress in aerospace and are worth exploring through specific examples. 1. Z-10 Attack Helicopter The Z-10 is a state-of-the-art attack helicopter developed by AVIC. It is designed for anti-tank and close air support missions, providing the Chinese military with a potent ground attack capability. Key Features Advanced avionics and targeting systems, including a millimeter wave fire control radar, electro-optical, infrared, EO, IR, sensors, and laser rangefinder, designator. Capable of carrying a wide range of weapons, including anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, rockets, and a 30 mm automatic cannon. High maneuverability and agility, thanks to its tandem seat, narrow body design. 2. Z-19 Reconnaissance Helicopter The Z-19 is a lightweight reconnaissance and attack helicopter, also developed by AVIC. It is designed for battlefield surveillance, target acquisition, and light attack roles. Key Capabilities Stealth features, including a reduced radar cross-section and infrared signature, making it harder to detect and track. Advanced sensors and mission equipment, such as a millimeter wave radar, EO, IR sensors, and laser designator, for precise target identification and engagement. Armed with anti-tank guided missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and a 23mm cannon, providing self-defense and light attack capabilities. 3. AVICAC-313 The AVICAC-313 is a large, multi-role civil helicopter designed for various missions, including passenger transport, search and rescue, and firefighting. Notable features. Capable of carrying up to 27 passengers or 13 tons of cargo, making it suitable for commercial and military transport roles. Equipped with advanced avionics and navigation systems, ensuring safe and efficient operation. Its large cabin and flexible configuration make it ideal for various civilian and military applications. 4. AVICAC-352 the AVICAC-352 is a medium-lift utility helicopter jointly developed by AVIC and Airbus Helicopters. It is designed for both civilian and military use. Key Attributes Capable of carrying up to 16 passengers or 5 tons of cargo internally and up to 7 tons externally. Advanced glass cockpit with digital displays and a 4-axis autopilot system for enhanced situational awareness and reduced pilot workload. Suitable for various missions, including search and rescue, emergency medical services, and military transport. 5. EVTOL, Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, Aircraft. China is also investing in the emerging EVTOL market for urban air mobility. Geely and Volocopter Partnership. Geely, a Chinese automotive giant, has partnered with Volocopter, a German EVTOL manufacturer, 
to develop and produce EVTOL aircraft for urban air taxi services. Volocopter's Volo City, a multi-rotor EVTOL, can carry two passengers and a pilot, offering a range of approximately 35 kilometers on a single charge. 6. Tilt Rotor Technology In a move that has captured the attention of the global aerospace community and marked a significant shift in the VTOL aircraft landscape, China has recently unveiled its most ambitious VTOL project to date, the AVICV 750 Tilt Rotor Aircraft. This announcement is a key event that highlights China's rapid advancements and its determination to challenge the established leaders in VTOL technology. The V750 is designed to accommodate up to 20 passengers, making it suitable for troop transport, search and rescue missions, and potentially commercial use. These examples demonstrate China's commitment to VTOL technology across various domains, from military attack and reconnaissance helicopters to civilian transport and urban air mobility solutions. The country's focus on indigenous innovation, coupled with strategic partnerships for specific projects, is driving rapid advancements in its VTOL capabilities. China's progress in this field is not only enhancing its military and civilian aviation sectors but also positioning it as a significant player in the global aerospace industry, challenging established leaders in VTOL technology. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's aerospace technology and development. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoy this episode. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like and share our video. We will bring you more China's latest tech news similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next episode.